Hello everyone, I'm Würfel. Welcome to my new YouTube channel. This is the Würfel Schmiede on YouTube. This is my first experience in front of the camera and I want to use it to give a little introduction about me and uh, all the stuff that I make and what is planned to do here on YouTube. Um, first things first, a little bit about me. I made apprenticeship as machinist uh, worked a year at that and uh, then I got to the university, made my mechanical engineer uh, and now I'm working on my PhD. Uh, I'm full-time working at uh, the university and uh, so this year is uh, on my hobby section so far um, and yeah the, the first part that I want to cover on this YouTube channel is uh, a tutorial series because uh, as I started making dice back in the days in my workshop uh, I had uh, mills and all that kind of stuff, a huge stock of materials and you know the good thing about dice, they are small so you can just need some, uh, some small waste pieces to do some dice so I got these nice Delrin uh, dice milled out of full stock, uh, CNC engraved, very nice stuff. But I don't have this at home, and during my study, I don't have the possibilities to uh, do more of that. So I tried to find a new way to make dice, and uh, resin casting came pretty handy. So, due to my studies, I learned uh, to work in CAD. And I started design my own dice. Uh, I used 3D printing to produce some stuff, and then I got to resin casting to do a little bit of a semi mass production style so I can do copies uh, in different colors and styles. And I'm always happy to teach this to other people because I often get asked how I do this, and I'm happy to explain it. But I think now it's the time to bring this up in a more concentrated, uh, and uh, tutorial style way so I decided to go here on YouTube um, so just to give you a little bit of an impression about this here are some of uh, my metal printed dice uh, here are my resin cast dice and my plan is to do a little uh, tutorial series starting with molds how to make them what kind of molds are there the casting, what you need to know about casting your dice to get uh, some nice and perfect dice. Then all the stuff needed to clean up your dice, get them ready for paint. What kind of paint you can use, what techniques are available to get clean and uh, smooth paints on your dice. Um, so this will be the main stuff that I want to talk about. Uh, the next big point will be all the other projects that I do because I think uh, some people might be interested in this uh, kind of thing. So I, I work on different kinds, mostly dice towers or uh, dice boxes, dice cups, uh, all that kind of stuff related to dice. Uh, so there are projects that failed a lot. Uh, I will give you the experience of that. There are some successful ones like this. Uh, little uh, magnetic box that I designed. Um, also a great successor is uh, this open spiral dice tower from me. Um, by the way the files for these are on Thingiverse so you can download them there for free and uh, do your own versions. Got them in different sizes uh, in different styles. Um, I also covered a little bit of level working for dice cups or woodworking for boxes uh, etc. Um, so this will be the second part of uh, videos that comes up on here. So tutorials, my personal projects and the third part will be my collection. Um, I'm a huge fan of dice. I started collecting like 20 or more years ago. It started with a few D6. And uh, meanwhile I got over 7,000 dice in my collection and all that stuff around dice. So I got several kinds of dice towers and uh, there are some quite interesting and intelligent made uh, pieces out there or some interesting designs that are just beautiful. 
or like this handmade wooden dice tower from Applewood. Um, this is also stuff from other makers. Um, I, I like to talk about uh, stuff that I traded. So here I got some handmade ceramic dice. Uh, I got handmade uh, chainmail dice bags and all the kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, if, if I like something, I really like to talk about it. So I think uh, the last part for this channel will be me talking and reviewing stuff uh, that I get from others uh, that I buy over the years and um, yeah so give a little bit of information and insight on, on the things out there um, yeah that's so far the plan is to start over with uh, the mold making tutorial so the next part that is coming up here will be the start of this making series um, so I hope you enjoyed it so far and I hope to see you on this mold making tutorial and uh, yeah because this is all pretty new to me I'm also happy for some feedback um, but I will say directly I'm not planning to do this here like uh, making a big career doing it full time making money with it and so on I, I want to keep it simple so uh, I'm not planning on buying huge equipment and stuff to improve this uh, very much but if there are possibilities and it grows over time I'm open for that uh, but I, I just want to avoid people giving me advice on th this camera is great this microphone is great and all that kind of stuff uh, I'm not having that much money to go into that directly but maybe this will grow over time so uh, I'm happy for, for tips about how I explain stuff. Um, of course, if in any of my videos are some parts missing, feel free to add them so I can uh, adjust the videos or doing uh, some detail shots later. And um, yeah, I hope uh, you can work with me together on this project uh, to bring this uh, channel a little bit up and uh, running and yeah that's so far for the first introduction about me uh, i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching and uh, i hope to see you in the mold making tutorial that will come up the next couple of weeks and uh, so far happy dice making and thank you <laughs>